Next thing I wanted to show you is Kittle's reframe feature. So for showing the reframe, I'm gonna grab this photo from Pexels, okay, and just use it for the demo purpose. I'm gonna paste it here into Kittle. By the way, if you didn't know, you can just copy paste from your Windows clipboard and it'll just add the graphic. Once that loads in, there we go. It took a second because it is a pretty high resolution graphic. I'm gonna move this over to the left-hand side. Now with this image selected, do you see above me on the video here, it says under tools, reframe. So I'm gonna click reframe. I'm gonna leave it on custom. And then I'm just gonna drag this left-hand side out to the left and watch this magic. I'm gonna click the reframe button, give it a minute, and it's gonna generate basically a magic fill. And check that out. It has extended our photo for us. It even knew to like keep the background blurred, you know, so that the parrot stays in the uh, foreground and is the focal point. Now, what I was going to do is add some text here. All right. And I'm just going to use Kittle's pre-made text. I think it looks great. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. Uh, I'm going to change the text color to white. Okay. So I think it'll stand out a little bit better. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And you can see it says Jackie's Ashbourne Dry Gin. Uh, why don't we make it say something like the Parrot Rum. Parrot Rum. And then what should the parrot's name be? Uh, I was going to say Toucan Sam, but that's probably trademarked. Why don't we just say Ryan. Ryan the Parrot.